The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Nodulator Pro, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Bernard Tobin here at the Southwest Ag Conference. Uh, hey, I'm standing between uh, Greg Tilka from Iowa State, Albert Tenuta, Omafra plant pathologist, and we're going to talking about soybean cyst nematode and a soybean cyst nematode coalition that's going to that's going to come together and make uh, get some research done and make th things happen. Um, hey, Greg, tell me about uh, the need for the coalition. Well, I, I have the luxury in Iowa of kind of living and breathing SCN management and started to pick up indications from farmers that um, they kind of become complacent about the problem of soybean cyst nematode and managing it. And that's really problematic because it's the most damaging soybean pathogen a soybean farmer can battle. And so um, we thought that there needed to be a unified message and a concerted effort to re-engage farmers in managing this number one pest uh, to try and, number one, regain some yield that they might have been losing, and secondly, prevent future yield losses mm. by uh, not being uh, actively managing the nematode problem. Right. Now, Albert, this is actually the second um, coalition. Tell me a little bit about the history. Yeah, no, Greg and I were both involved in the first coalition. Back then, we were a little younger and had more hair on our head for sure, mm -hmm. right, Greg? Yep. And, uh, and that's, so, you know, we're looking at 20, 20 plus years mm. and that, and that was one of the first initiatives where you had this broad range of coalition partners that got together and it was nice because it was a North American type coalition, US, Canada and Ontario in that and it, it was very successful, it, it increased um, take the test, beat the pest yep. was the, the key message back then and it's lasted till today, yeah. people remember that and so it was very effective in terms of getting increasing awareness back then, maybe different uh, key messages that uh, or goals that as Greg was mentioning now back then was more getting awareness out there, get growers to test, and get those management practices yeah. going. So, Greg, who's involved in, who are the partners in this coalition? Well, the, the nice thing about a coalition, and this kind of coalition, is we all are, are reaching towards the same goal. So there's no losers. So we're partnering with everybody that has soybean farmers' best interest at mind. So we're partnering with seed companies, we're partnering with chemical companies, we're partnering with what I call service providers, which would be grain elevators and co-ops. Mm -hmm. We're partnering with universities and research institutions, and we're partnering with grower organizations, such as the Ontario Grain Farmers Association, the Iowa Soybean Association, and we're all gonna deliver this unified message to help farmers manage soybean cyst nematode starting in 2018 and moving forward. Mm. Now you've touched on some of the goals. Albert, can you elaborate a little bit and give us a little bit more well, detail? Similar, first goal is similar to what we had the first coalition, mm. that increased awareness. And so that increased awareness, depending on regions, could be different. So if you're into new areas where cyst nematode is just starting to develop, very similar to what we had earlier in terms of getting them out there, knowing if they have the problem, and so that we can initiate uh, uh, management programs to reduce potential losses mm -hmm. in that. But also this increased awareness, as Greg mentioned, of, of the challenges that uh, the main source of resistance is PI88788 is having out there. So we want to increase awareness there, get uh, uh, reduce the selection pressure on those by, by targeting different um, management tools and key messaging, right, Greg? So we're, you know, the, one of the keys, as Greg mentioned, is one voice, one message. Yeah. And so the management and those those key messagings are, are, are very important, right? Yeah. You know, starting off with scouting, right? Scouting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got to, you can't manage a problem if you don't know you have it. And then the best approach to solving any problem is no single approach. It's yeah. multifaceted, and that's really going to be the core of our message. Of course, we're going to be more specific about products and practices and so forth. But ultimately, it's about recognizing that the problem exists, and it might exist in a couple different phases, as Albert mentioned. Some, it's a brand new problem, and others, it's a problem that is starting to slip away from our control. And then the ultimate goal is to have broad-based management, what we call integrated pest management management mm -hmm. using multiple tactics to keep the pest, the yeah. nematode in this particular case, uh, under wraps. Yeah, everything from rotation, not only varieties, but resistance, all 
for, uh, sh uh, you know, sources of resistance, Seed all those. treatments. Yeah. Um, so this whole integrated SCN management is, is key. And, and also, also knowing how those management tools are affecting the SCN population as well. So knowing where you're starting, you know, one of the keys, you know, previously was take, take the test, beat the pest. Now it is, you know, maybe that's still important, but also, you know, what's your number? Yeah. What's your SCN, what's your baseline? In, in many cases. Many growers may not even know what their baseline is and, and to effectively um, determine whether your management uh, practices are successful, you want to see whether your, your populations are decreasing, staying stable or increasing rapidly, right? Because right. those are really concerns as well. The best way I, I can explain it in a non-scientific way is a human health analogy of high blood pressure. So I describe there are plenty of people walking around with high blood pressure that don't know they've got it. And so when they go to the doctors, they get tested and they're told they have high blood pressure. A couple things now, think about it. They don't get tested that one time. They are encouraged to take their blood pressure on a regular basis to know their number. And secondly, they're not given one individual magic pill that's going to solve the yeah. problem. They're given multiple strategies that they need to implement, including r losing weight, reduce salt intake, mm. exercise, take medicine. And so there's lots of really appropriate parallels mm. between soybean cyst nematode and high blood pressure. Yeah. Soybean cyst in ways is the hidden killer yeah. as well, mm. but it doesn't mm. have to be. So what are we going to see over the next year? What are we going to see a lot? Or what are we going to see and hear from the uh, coalition? Well, I think, I think you're going to see multi-different uh, facets of the messaging, right? Mm -hmm. So some of that will be as we're doing today, yep. just, you know, video education side there, presentations that Greg and I and many of our colleagues do as well throughout uh, the soybean production areas of North America. There are, um, Greg has been a great resource in terms of uh, providing much of his, his leading research in soybeans as nematode for, for training. And that's one of the key ones too, yep. uh, that training aspect for um, um, not only producers in that, but the retailers in ag business, right, Greg? We train the trainers. Yeah, yeah. We, we can't possibly reach all the farmers ourselves. So that's where the partners come in. We train the partners, they train the farmers. And every partner will have an opportunity to give their individual spin on what their company or service has yeah. to offer. But we all agree to deliver the base factual information about SCN biology and management. Well, gentlemen. Great stuff. Uh, we'll keep our eyes out yes. for the SCN Coalition. Thanks yeah. for dropping by. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you for much. having us. Appreciate Thank you. it.